In this video, I go over the initial setup of GNOME boxes on Ubuntu 18.04. So GNOME Boxes is a replacement for like VirtualBox or using VMware or, you know, even Virt Manager. Um, it's a front end for QEMU, which is a good way of testing out operating systems of a variety of sorts. So if you see a new hot Linux distribution you want to check out, uh, GNOME Boxes is great. Um, one thing that turned me on to it is someone in the comments said, hey, uh, you should check this out. So I went ahead and I was like, yeah, sure, another uh, hypervisor or uh, virtual manager. I, you know, I've used a lot of these in the past. I, I like VirtualBox a lot for Linux because you can do like a convergence mode and hide some of it. Um, VMware also has the same type of thing. Um, and QEMU I've also used because performance-wise, QEMU is typically always the best because it's just so low profile and it sits pretty much right on the kernel. But um i was really impressed by gnome boxes gnome boxes is excellent uh if you're just getting started and you want to virtualize an operating system use gnome boxes it is literally just a one-click setup and off you go um once it's all going and the configuration video will actually be shorter than this video this is just an install and setup video which i'm about to jump into right now on setting it up Okay, so if you look up how to install GNOME boxes, you're going to get a variety of different results. If you look up other YouTube, you know, tutorials, a lot of them just say, hey, use sudo apt install GNOME boxes and you're good to go. This is not true, and most install videos for GNOME boxes basically leaves out a very, very important dependencies for it, and also makes it to where you're constantly authenticating with your sudo password to launch VMs. This is really annoying and also it does limit some of the functionality of GNOME boxes. So today I'm gonna to walk you through and this is gonna be the three part command. We're gonna start out with our apt git. So for this, it's gonna be this command right here. sudo apt install GNOME boxes, just like everyone else's video, however, we're adding the dependencies that it needs, QEMU, KVM, and libvert-bin. So let's go ahead and install this. As you see, I haven't installed it on this instance of Ubuntu. So we're gonna go ahead and hit yes, and it's gonna go through, download, and install all this for us. Okay, with that as installed, we're not quite done yet. Yes, you could go ahead and launch GNOME boxes, but we need to add our user to the KVM group. This basically allows us to launch GNOME boxes with ease without having to constantly authenticate. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna do this command right here, sudo usermod-a-g kvm and then user. Uh, right here it's dollar sign user. However, I could do just Titus instead of dollar sign user since that's my username. Um, however, I'll just leave it at this. With that done, I have now been added to the KVM group, and now we need to allow users in the KVM group to start VMs. So to do this, um, I'm not gonna go ahead and mention this entire command, but I will also copy this in the description below this video. Um, it is quite a mouthful. So let's go ahead and I'm putting all this in the description line here. What this does is it basically makes the KVM group able to launch a lot of um, VMs and edit this qemu.comp file. So that's what all this garbly goop is down here. Um, but it works and it works quite well. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And now that is committed and we are good to go on launching GNOME boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of my terminal here. Okay, with that done, our GNOME box is installed, so we're gonna go ahead and pull up our applications menu, and you'll notice boxes up here. So we'll go ahead and click boxes, and then our GNOME boxes launches just fine, and we will be able to create GNOME boxes without 
you know, getting uh, prompted for a password or any of that. So from here, um, we're pretty much set up and ready to go. Um, I really, really enjoy GNOME boxes and I'm really looking forward to continuing this series. In the next video, I'm going to go over installing Windows 10 using GNOME boxes and then uh, other Linux distributions. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below and I'll get back to you. And if you liked it, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more tech videos, please hit the subscribe button and check me out on my website, chrystitus.com.